Welcome to episode two of Cooperators. Uh, Chris here with Chucking Dice. Today we're talking about licensed games, video games, board games, or actually that's it, card games. Licensed games we grew up on were ninety Saturday morning cartoons like Sunset Riders and uh, X Men arcade game, uh, Simpsons as well. Simpsons, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles was a good one. Yeah. Uh, was there another one? I think there's another one. I know there's Spider-Man, but I don't know too many people who play the Spider-Man game. I, I've played the Spider-Man game. It's the one where you have Prince Namor and Black Cat. Um, Hawkeye. And Hawkeye, which is like the oddest combination of superhero. Like, not so much Hawkeye and Black Cat, but Prince Namor. Yeah, it was really odd. I yeah. never knew who the hell Submariner was. Right. Well, they called him Submariner. Right, right. And I was like, and I always thought, who the hell is Submariner? Who mm -hmm. the hell is this guy? Uh, Black Cat was cool. Right. And she was part of the like, Spider-Man universe. And Hawkeye, you can just, well, he's like a street kind of guy. Yeah, so, he kind of yeah. just floats around. Right. Uh, he was cool. Right. Uh, Spider-Man was cool, too. Right. But yeah, it's Submariner, he was weird. It was well, it, really weird. It, I mean, he was like a fant he's more of like a Fantastic Four kind of player or an Avenger. But I guess they figured, oh, Hawkeye's an Avenger, let's add him. But like the power level in the you know between these heroes are really weird, way different. I would say Spider-Man amongst Black Cat and Hawkeye is like physically the strongest. But Prince Namor is the guy who could fight the Hulk as long as there was like a it was raining or they were it fighting was, in a pool. Or, yeah. What if it was a desert? If it was a desert, then uh, Prince Namor is going to have some problems. He can last for a while without uh, being submerged in water, but he's stronger in water. Didn't they actually make Aquaman kind of closer to Namor like, they, eventually? Like they, they kind of. Yeah, they did. I mean, I don't remember like because like now Aquaman is strong, like super. He has some. He's a degree of super strength, and how they like kind of justify that is, well, he can swim through tidal waves and like water pressure and stuff like that. So it makes him super, you know, skin dense and stuff like that. He has like you know, special like weapons that he uses. Uh, but back in the day when I was reading him, like it was kind of just you know I I read like classic Aquaman. He just kind of controlled fish and. Like, he was sort of strong, but not superhumanly strong. And, yeah, I do believe that he just took a, like, a chapter out of Namor's book. Like, DC fans would, like, you know, probably say I'm, you know, talking out of my ass. But it's like, he changed so drastically that, you know. They tried to make him less geeky. Yeah, for, less geeky. Less yeah. of a wimp, pretty that, much. That cartoon never helped, the, the yeah. Super Friends. Uh, so, yeah, we grew up on those arcade right. games. I, I know I, I played them a lot right. at various liquor stores and, and uh What's the what's your earliest memory of playing like that one of those multiplayer like uh, licensed games? It would probably have to be Ninja Turtles. Right. Uh, that was probably the the one of the first ones I played. Uh, I was really into Ninja Turtles because of the cartoon. I think everyone was. I everyone. was into Ninja Turtles as well. Great cartoon. Great, cartoon. Uh, Great cereal. Awesome cereal. <laughs> yeah. I think we should just make a podcast yeah. of nothing but licensed cereal, cereal. But straight from the, the sewers into your mouth. Exactly. Which is you like. Know, Eating shit, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. But what was great about the Ninja Turtles cereal was it was checks with the Lucky Charms yeah. marshmallows. Yeah. Greatest thing ever. Yeah. Like, it was... Because I, I, I hated Lucky Charms. Nobody likes no, I didn't the cereal like, part like, of Lucky Charms. I, I, well, I did like... Actually, I didn't like the marshmallow part of Lucky Charms. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Yeah. See, see I didn't like the cereal part. It was part. too many. Oh, it was too many? Yeah. The funny thing is now they sweetened the cereal because nobody would ever eat the the, the cereal from, well, from they Lucky just, Charms. They, so just they would eat, just like, eat, eat the around it? Yeah, they would eat around it, right. but now they made the cereal sweeter. Right. So, and, that, and you know, that was really good. So it was Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles was the first one. Right. I know I did play that a lot, like I said, at liquor stores and uh, arcades and uh, Chuck E. Cheese, actually, surprisingly. They had, uh, they had it. They had it. They had it. They actually had a lot of the co-op games there at arcades, at, and specifically Chuck E. Cheese, right? Because you had just had a bunch of kids and running around, and everyone wanted to play it together. So Ninja Turtles was great. Uh, yeah. So the arc the X Men arcade cabinet was probably one of my favorites because it came in different flavors. It came in right. two two player cabinets, four player cabinets, and the really rare yeah uh, six player cabinet where it's like the mirror on the bottom. Yeah, it was yeah. like a mirror on the bottom, and it, it would mirror. It would it would it was kind of like a fall fall widescreen yeah. where they just put two CTR monitors together yeah, yeah. and they're like here there's two bubble monitors but it's right. six players so that was great uh, it was I never I, it was rare that you ever got all six people on the six right. player cabinet but when you did, it was just crazy. It, it, it was it, just it, 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 everyone was throwing their specials well, and everyone was the X Men. Exactly. Um, so like my memory of playing that is an amusement park. So it was always like there was always six people there, and like uh, the one thing I didn't really like about it is that like it seemed that each slot was kind of associated with that X Men. 
So I was always trying to, you know, get my hands on, like, uh, I, for some reason I like Cyclops, because he's the leader. But someone was always Cyclops. <laughs> and, like, uh, then, like, you know, the, my second favorite was Colossus. Some's already Colossus. So I ended up being Nightcrawler. And I'm a big, biggest Nightcrawler fan. <laughs> his special was cool, though. Yeah, his, his special was His, his cool. special yeah. zipping around was great. I think a lot of people like picking Colo- uh, Cyclops because he had, he had a really, actually a really powerful special where it was yeah. just a giant bomb. It was... Well, you can aim it too. Yeah, it yeah. was sim- it was similar to Dazzler's bombs, mm. but Dazzler's bomb, but it was but she, it shot straight out yeah. and it had a I think it had a bigger AOE. Right. Uh, everyone liked Colossus because he was yeah. strong. He was the strongest one there. What's wait uh, AO, AOE? Uh, area of effect. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I don't know the game lingo's. Uh yeah, <laughs> yeah AOE's area of effect. Uh, uh, DLT is damage over time. Damage um, over time. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Colossus was great because whenever he did his special, he yeah. like yelled. He did this oh. like, yeah, kind of like this yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger yell yeah. or like, uh, actually, it's kind of like the like the yell in Predator when he, you know, yeah. he does a yell, <laughs> the that war cry. So he had like a war cry. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nightcrawler was great because he zipped around the screen. I actually thought Wolverine's special was lame. It was well, it like was a, weird because yeah. Wolverine didn't shoot lasers out of his claws. But it was a, it was like a sonic boom, but it wasn't that great. Right. Yeah, it was weird. Like, I don't know. I didn't know how to aim that thing. It just kind of yeah, like a mess was, of things just came it out was of his like claws. Gu- it was like Guile's sonic boom. It just right. went straight out for him. <clears throat> the cool thing with Wolverine, though, is he did regenerate his health. I did not know that. Like, how would that happen? Uh, you just stood still. If you would just stand still, you would see his bar. It was really slow. Really? But he, he was, yeah, he was able to regenerate his health. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know yeah. that at all. Yeah, like, his is cool. Uh, I never really used Dazzler, and I never really used Storm. Were they any good? Storm, I think, does that tornado. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, I, I want to say that Storm, for whatever reason, had a wand in her hand or some kind of staff. And Dazzler, she had this power thing that she would throw, and it would arch over things, but then would blow create up. yeah, blow up. Very similar to Cyclops. Although I think out of all the X Men characters, she had the coolest costume. Oh yeah, yeah. She got that leather jacket, the leather jacket, yeah. and the headband. headband. She was very eighties. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny because like uh, Dazzler in the original comic, you go back to like kind of when she had her ongoing series. She was very late seventies because mm-hmm. she was uh, a disco singer. Nice. Yeah. Although disco sucks. Right. 